Among the many legal issues that uh, are raised by the outbreak of the coronavirus, uh, there is the issue of what happens to contracts that have been executed before the emergency became clear. Uh, of course, many legal systems provide for remedies in these cases. For example, you could argue that it's, it has become impossible to perform the contract or that the contract has become too onerous. The problem with these kind of remedies is, however, that the consequence is that one party will not perform but also will not be paid, so the economic consequences would be very uh, serious. Uh, another possible remedy is to try to obtain a renegotiation of the conditions of the contract, which also might be asked uh, uh, applying principles of good faith in uh, the performance of the contract. Interestingly enough, from an international perspective, the different legal systems do have different approaches in interpreting what uh, can represent an exceptional event that justified either a modification of the contract or the resolution of the contract. For example, common law courts tend to be very narrow in interpreting contractual clauses that invoke force majeure. So if there is not an explicit reference to epidemics or other disease, uh, those clauses might not be invoked. An alternative then is to use the doctrine of frustration. However, this doctrine sometimes cannot be invoked when the contract already provides for specific uh, reasons to either resolve the contract or modify the conditions. The issue is that everything will have to be analyzed uh, considering the will of the parties in the specific case, understanding also the underlying factual circumstances.